Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out or see what's going on in their overall environment. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Get my paper and pen. Power of number two. Number nine. And 12. Okay. Looks like we're going to the number 23. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Others of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. You could also be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. Picking up on strong uh, Pisces energy again through the number 12, Scorpio energy coming in through the number 13. You could also be dealing with a Leo, seeing that through the number 19. Virgo, Gemini, and Aries energy all can come in through the number one. However, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Some of you are 21, 22, 23, or 29 years of age. Others of you could be 31, 32, and or possibly 39 years old. You could have been born in 1992, 1991, and or possibly 1993. So either way, Scorpio, power of number 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. and 23. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's person and to them, or what is going on in their environment? Show me what's up. Mm. Page of Wands. It's a communicator card. This person could be a fire sign. Possibly an Aries, Leo, or Sag does not have to be. However, something about communication or they want to reach out and communicate. This can be a flirtatious message, flirtatious voicemail. They could DM you if it's Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, X, Twitter, whatever. You know. <laughs> However, this person for some of you guys could be a little bit younger than you. In the past, their communication was very immature, mm -hmm. but they have this desire to want to reach out to you. And there could also be, if there's a third party situation going on, there could be a sense of immaturity that's going on between them and the karmic. Mm. This person of yours, Scorpio, they're afraid of rejection. They're itching and, and getting anxious, I feel, to, for them to reach out to you, but they don't know if you're going to answer the call. They don't know if you're going to answer the text message, voicemail. They don't know if you're going to pick up the phone, if you happen to see their name. 
come up on your phone, on your uh, caller screen. Hmm, I heard the phrase kiss and make up. Mm. They're afraid of rejection. And some of them maybe have been reaching out to you, but you could have also been ignoring them because you're not willing to settle for breadcrumbs. So there's some kind of rejection that's also going on in the connection, again, if they're with a third party. could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like this person has had some text messages that they haven't sent off because they get insecure. could be reaching out to you in one day, one week, four days, or within the next four months. Because all of you guys are on different timelines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to reach out and communicate. Message of concern. Could also be having to do something with a child or if they have children. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, graduation parties that, you know, that are going on around this time frame. Um, what else? Um, they may want to apologize for their immature behavior. Okay. For ghosting you, rejecting you, etc. So there's, there's a wavering apology right now in some cases. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancerian. Mm. This person may want to confess that they're still that they're still passionate about you. Again, this again, this could be something like a sexy text message. Um, they're passionately thinking about you. They're thinking about the physical intimacy. However, this does represent the summertime process. And this can also talk about enthusiasm, creative new projects. Something here about commitment. Ten of Pentacles, you could also be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, I think they want to apologize for their sneaky behavior. Seven of Swords is coming up in the reverse. Yeah could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You know, they're just, they've been holding back. It's creating a form of anxiety within them. I can feel it. They're itching, they're itching or dying to say something to you. Or that they want this connection to happen again. They may also tell you that the connection between them and the karmic is going to end. All of that, you know. But I really feel like it's an apology for how they treated you. Yeah, exactly. You were the best thing in my life. Yep, they still want you. Mm -hmm. But fair warnings forearm for those of you in childbearing years. 
listen, there's a child card here and an ace of wands. This is one of the most sexual cards in all the tarot deck, okay? So fair warnings for armed, okay? If that's not something that you're wanting uh, for you female Scorpios out there, or, you know, if you're dealing with a, a masculine Scorpio, um, be very conscientious. <laughs> Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like this person is addicted to your energy still, despite outward appearances. But for some of you guys, it could have been a small percentage of you where you guys were dealing with somebody who had a drug addiction. Yeah, there's a new love. They want to have a fresh new start, brand new beginning. Why is that? Because we also have an ace. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I feel like they want to say that they've changed. They're not the same person. Mm. In the past, they kept it casual. I think we could have a lot of fun together, but I don't see it progressing into something deeper. So they were really giving you a lot of mixed signals, wishy-washy answers, you know, taking forever to answer their text messages, etc. cetera. Um, they were just trying to keep things on the surface. I don't have feelings for you, but I don't want to hurt your feelings either. So at one point in time, they were also trying to be polite. But see, now they want to reach out. All this reaching out energy is dominating over their past actions or their uncertainty or their insecurity. Yeah, they were trying to be polite. Because why? They had somebody else. They had somebody else behind the scenes, Scorpio. Okay. That's pretty much what it boils down to. When somebody's rejecting you, it's because there's somebody else. <laughs> a, a good portion of the time. Probably, I would say maybe about 95%. It's always going to be somebody else. So, yeah. I was selfish. Thank you, trusted ancestors. I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. Like they want to apologize to you, but I said they were immature. They could have had immature communication with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. They're not happy with that third party, you guys. They're not. It's a delusional situation going on over there it's a matter of time before they kind of wake up you know what i mean yeah because they're juggling apples and oranges over there they're juggling their thoughts they're juggling their emotions trying to get balanced like figuring out how do i how do I say everything that I need to say to Scorpio? Well, it's basically just putting one foot in front of the other and open up your mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're feeling heavily defeated right now in their environment and whoever they're with. They're feeling defeated because they're, they're craving you. They're desiring you. They're wanting you. They see the future with you. They, they may not have the exact plan, but they're they're trying to come in here with some integrity because they don't want to lie to you because it's just a waste of their time if they're you know trying to come in steal or steal your precious valuable time away from you Scorpio and then they don't get anything out of it like it's just no they're coming in for some kind of commitment and they want your forgiveness. Now, like I said, some of you guys could have children involved. You're not entirely, you know, in full separation or breakup situation with this person. Maybe because, again, you've got children involved. However, they've been holding back. They're feeling very insecure. The anxiety is building up. They know that you were the best thing in their life, which means they're not getting what they want in that third party. Bottom line. <laughs> it's blase, blase over there. So. 
My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. If you like this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.